Hello, this is progression and series lesson four. In this, I will discuss questions on series. First of all, I will discuss very basic series. Uh, you must know that one plus two plus three plus four sum of first n natural number. The sum is always equals to n into n plus one by two. For example, if you want to calculate sum of first twenty natural numbers, sum of first twenty natural numbers, sum would be twenty into twenty one by two. That is two hundred and ten. That is the first series that you must know. Second series is square of natural numbers. Sum of squares of n natural number. One square plus two square plus three square up to n square. What will be the sum of squares of first n natural number? This is sum of squares of first n natural numbers. Its sum will be n into n plus one. Into two n plus one by six. For example, if you want to calculate the sum of squares of first fifteen natural numbers, fifteen square. Answer would be fifteen into sixteen into fifteen into two thirty plus one thirty one by six. You can calculate that answer. Same way, one cube, two cube, three cube. Up to n cube, sum of cubes of first n natural number. Remember this, uh, this, this that uh, the first series was sum of first n natural number. It's not any natural numbers. It's first n natural numbers. Same way, second series is sum of squares of first n natural numbers, and third series is sum of cubes of first n natural numbers. This answer will be n into n plus one by two whole square. The square of this n into n plus one by two whole square. For example, if you want to calculate one cube plus two cube plus three cube up to ten cube, this will be ten into eleven by two. That is fifty five square. That is three zero two five will be your final answer. So in this way, the other first basic kind of series. that you must know it's very very important from aptitude exams point of view now what kind of questions can come on these three series i am just going to discuss with you first question is 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square plus 8 square up to 40 square now how can you find the sum of this series now you can't apply the formula of 1 square plus 2 square but because that formula is applicable only when you have 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square Plus n square. First n natural number squares. The formula is n into n plus one into two n plus one by six. But here you don't have first squares of first n natural number. Now how to solve this? Uh, what we can do? We can take the two square common in this series. Two square common. So we will left with one. This is sixteen. Four square is sixteen. If we take two square four as common, we will left with four. This is thirty six because this was four, this was sixteen, this was thirty six, this was sixty four. If you take four common, this nine will be left, then sixteen will be left. What is this? This is sixteen hundred. If you take four common, that is two square common, it will be four hundred. Now you have two square, one square plus two square plus three square plus four square, up to twenty square. Now you can see that. Now we can apply the formula. So four into one square up to twenty square. The formula will be twenty into twenty one into forty one by six, and you can calculate your answer. How to calculate this in a faster manner? Two tens are twenty two three three sevens are. This is ten into seven seventy into forty one. Now. Seventeen to forty-one is easy to calculate. Seven one is seven. Seven four is twenty-eight. Two eight seven zero. Eleven four eighty will be your final answer. Second question is you need to find the sum of two cube plus four cube plus six cube plus eight cube up to twenty cube. Now you should pause the video, try to solve this question yourself, then look at the way I have solved. You can't straight away apply the formula because formula is for one cube, two cube, three cube. Up to n cube, you know that this is the formula n into n plus one by two whole square. You can't apply this in the straight way in this question. 
so what you have to do you have to take some something common so that series will become the cubes of first n natural numbers so we will take two cube common if you take two cube common because this was 8 this was 64 this was 216 this was 512 8 cube is 512 and this is 8000 if you took, take 2 cube common that is 8 common you will left with 1 64 you take 8 common you will be left with 8 216 if you take uh, 8 common you will left with 27 and so on this is 8000 20 cube is equals to 8000 if you take 8 common you will left with 1000 now can I say this is 8 into 1 cube, 8 is 2 cube, 27 is 3 cube and 1000 is, is 10 cube. Now you can straight away apply the formula 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to 10 cube. The formula will be 10 into 11 by 2 whole square. This is 8 into 55 whole square. 55 square is 3025. You can calculate straight away. Now, how to multiply this in a faster manner? 8 into first multiply by 3000, you will get 20. 4000 plus then multiply 8 with 25, that is 200. So, you got 24,200 as your final answer. So, very important questions on the basic series. Question 3 is 50 square minus 49 square plus 48 square minus 47 square and so on till 2 square minus 1 square now first pause this video try to solve yourself now 50 square minus 49 square i'm just solving it apply the basic common sense first you know that a square minus b square we know that a square minus b square is always equals to a plus b into a minus b can i say that 50 square minus 49 square is always equals to 50 plus 49 50 minus 49 50 minus 49 you know that is 1 so I am only left with 50 plus 49 so it means that 50 square minus 49 square its, its value will be finally 50 plus 49 same way 48 square minus 47 square its value will be 48 plus 47 into 48 minus 47 this is 48 plus 47 will be as it is 48 minus 47 is 1 so you will left with 48 plus 47 so so can i say that 50 square minus 49 square i'm just solving here this will be 50 plus 49 same way 48 square plus minus 47 square this will be plus 48 plus 47 46 square minus 45 square this will be 46 plus 45 and so on 4 square minus 3 square this will be 4 plus 3 2 square minus 1 square will be 2 plus 1. Now what you left with? You only left with sum of first 50 natural numbers. Sum of first 50 natural numbers starting from 1 to 50. You know that sum of first n natural number is n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of first n natural numbers. So sum of first 50, I will put n is equal to 50. I need to calculate sum of first 50 natural numbers. This will be 50 into 51 by 2 this 225 you will left with 1275 as your final answer very important question because it's very simple but sometimes students are not able to apply the basic common sense formula that a square minus b square is equals to a plus b into a minus b question 4 is 2 by 3 plus 8 by 9 this is 8 by 9 plus 26 by 27 plus 80 by 81 up to 20 20 terms you need to find the sum of these 20 terms you need to find some of these 20 terms now should you should first pause this video try to solve yourself challenge yourself it is the these questions are based on ap gp or common sense you know all three we have covered them so you can solve this question only thing is you must be able to apply your common sense plus concepts so i'm solving this question can i say 2 by 3 is nothing is 1 minus 1 by 3 now how I am able to spot this is 1 minus 1 by 3 by practice you will also be able to spot because then only you will be able to make AP or GP. 8 by 9 is 1 minus 1 by 9. 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन दिस इज वन माइनस वन बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन दिस इज वन माइनस वन बाय एट्टी वन अप टू ट्वेंटी टर्म्स दिस इज द नाउ वन वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ ट्वेंटी टर्म्स सो वन विल कम हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वन विल कम ट्वेंटी टाइम्स सो वन प्लस वन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी टाइम्स विल बी ट्वेंटी माइनस यू विल लेफ्ट विद वन बाय थ्री प्लस वन बाय नाइन आई हेव टेकन माइनस कॉमन सो ऑल टर्म्स विल बीन पॉजिटिव प्लस वन बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस वन बाय एटी वन अप टू ट्वेंटी टर्म्स नाउ ट्वेंटी माइनस दिस नाउ कैन यू कैन आई से दिस इज दिस इज जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन दिस इज जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन विद ए एज फर्स्ट टर्म इज वन बाय थ्री कॉमन रेशो आर कॉमन रेशो आर इज सेकेंड टर्म बाय फर्स्ट टर्म वन बाय नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय वन बाय थ्री इज वन बाय थ्री यू गेट इफ डिवाइड वन बाय नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय वन बाय थ्री यू विल गेट कॉमन रेशो आर एज वन बाय थ्री वन बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय वन बाय नाइन अगेन यू विल गेट आर एज वन बाय थ्री सो एनी सीरीज और एनी प्रोग्रेशन इज ए जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन इफ द रेशो ऑफ एनी टू कंजेक्टिव टर्म्स इज सेम विच इज ट्रू इन दिस केस सो R that is common ratio is one by three. Now you know how to calculate the sum of n terms in a GP. We know that sum of n terms in a GP is equal to a into r power n minus one divided by r minus one. So it will be twenty minus what is a? Put a r and n. N is twenty. R is one by three. A is one by three. This is twenty is one by three. R is one by three power twenty minus one divided by one by three minus one. Rearrange this twenty minus this one by three. You can write this one minus one by three power twenty, and this will become one minus one by three. You can change like this. No difference will be there. I'll just rearrange the term, and that will be your final answer. Question five is eight plus eighty eight plus triple eight plus four times eight up to twenty terms. You need to find the sum of these twenty terms. Now this question is a bit uh, difficult question because uh, it's very because the series is neither in AP nor in GP. So this kind of series have a specific method to solve. I'm going to tell you. First, you can take eight as common. Remember this: we can calculate only uh, sum only when we convert the series into AP or GP. Otherwise, it's very difficult. So finally, we have to convert every series in AP or GP. So I'm trying to convert this into AP or GP. This is eight into multiply and divide by nine. Divide by nine, multiplied by nine. No, no difference will be there if you divide and multiply by nine. So I have divided by nine. So I will now multiply by nine. This will become nine. Plus ninety nine, plus nine ninety nine, plus nine 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 up to twenty terms. Why I'm doing all this thing just to make this a P or a G P. In this case, it will be a geometric progression. Because if you try to solve uh, this as one, ten plus one, this is not hundred plus one. So there will be no symmetrical pattern. So you can't apply. Uh, the gp here so i've just that's why i multiplied and divided by 9 so i'm getting 8 by 9 now 9 can be written as 10 minus 1 99 can be written as 10 square minus 1 100 minus 1 999 can be written as 10 cube minus 1 4 times 9 can be written as 10 power 4 minus 1 and so on up to 20 terms now you can see that this is a gp So eight by nine is common. So ten, ten square, ten cube, ten power four up to twenty terms. This is separate. I am calculating. Plus minus one is coming how many times? There are twenty terms, so one will come twenty times, and each term the one is in negative minus one. It's there, so twenty terms will become minus twenty. So finally, your answer will be eight by nine. Apply the formula. This is geometric progression. This is geometric progression with a as ten and r. The common ratio is what is the common ratio? Second term by first term. Ten square by ten. The common ratio is ten. Apply the formula. Uh, this is the formula is just sum of n terms of a GP. This is a into r power n minus one 
divided by r minus 1. So our a is 10, r is 10, n number of terms are 20, minus 1, divided by 10 minus 1, 9, minus 20, that will be your final answer of the 20 terms. No need to calculate the 10 raised to power 20, the answer will be in this form only. So that was all about progression and series lesson for questions on series. In the next lesson, I will continue with more questions on series. Thank you.